If you are struggling with creating a radial curtain walls in Revit, just no worries, you are at the right place and in this tutorial I am going to show you a step by step process of how you can do that. But just before I proceed to that topic, if you would like to level up your Revit knowledge, we have a free Revit training with over 4 hours materials and uh, you will find the access link in a video description. So I am in a Revit right now and the first thing I am going to do will be to create an ordinary wall. I will make it as the arced wall, so let's say 4.5 meters is enough. And I am going to make the height of let's say 3 meters. So in 3D view we will turn off annotation categories so we can see our model better. And you probably wonder why I made this. So let's select this wall. And in the type selector, I can pick this to be a curtain wall. And then I will just click edit type and I'm going to create a new curtain wall type. So what's very important in this case to know is that I'm, let's say for the vertical grid, going to pick this maximum spacing, let's say 750. And then for a horizontal grid, we can just put the fixed distance of, let's say 500. And let me just show you one thing for the vertical, we can, let's say pick this 65 by 125 so I can copy that one here as well as for the let's say interior type I can leave the borders free because I would like to show you something so just click OK here in this case and you see how this look like and by the way we can just maybe make this to be 3.2 meters so uh, this and mullion uh, is interior mullion, it's not a border mullion, so we make the clear difference. And by the way, if we go here, we see that our panel is uh, flat, so it's polygonal, we have the polygon polygons here, and then also our mullions, and in a lot of cases this is going to work, but let's say that you would like to have the fully radial wall, this is not going to be something you need. So, what I'm gonna do, I can just make a duplicate of, let's say, some basic wall. I can make it as Architeasy 10 millimeters. And I'm also going to create one radial here. So what was the, the height is 3.2 meters. So the same as this one. And yeah, you will now realize why I'm making this. I just would like to show you a picture one next to the other about, um, uh, so you can better realize what I'm going to do. And let's say that now I select our curtain wall. Uh, what we can do actually, uh, what we didn't make, uh, we didn't put any curtain panel. And by the way, if you click here, you will see that we also can put uh, the basic walls as our curtain panels. And if we do that, like let's say we place this one of 10 millimeters, you will see that our panel became the fully radial so you see that we have the fully radial wall like this one here while our mullions are like the horizontal mullions are not radial so what we have to do in this case i will firstly let's say do this i will unpin a vertical mullion and then i'm gonna create a duplicate which is going to be let's say 300 by 10 millimeters And I'm going to select our curtain wall. So for horizontal mullions, I'm going to place this 300 by 10. And what we have to do is to create the offset. So that offset needs to be the half of this plus the, uh, plus the thickness of the wall. So it needs to be 155 or 60, let's see. So select the curtain wall. Actually, sorry, select the mullion and then go to edit type and make this 155. Actually, we can make this with a minus value. This seems fine. And what we can do right now, we can actually uh, delete our horizontal grid and the horizontal mullion. So put none here, click OK delete grid line so now we are going to start adding our horizontal uh, 
horizontal mullions. So what's the way to do that? In this case, you don't need to select our curtain wall. What you have to do is to select your basic wall. But just before we start doing that, I suggest you to, let's say, create your own profile so you can put any profile uh, you like. And in this case, we are going to create a very simple one. So for that, you need to go to the new family and you need to pick this metric profile. So here I will take the line because I know the thickness is five millimeters. I'm going to make the, off uh, the thickness is 10. I'm going to make five millimeters offset and I'm going to go, let's say 300 to one and to the other direction. And then I'm going to close the profile. It's, let me just show you. So this is 10 and then this is 300. It's highly recommendable to save the family. You see that this is family too, so I will remember that name. And then I'm going to, actually before that, we can just see here, we can just put this as a wall sweep, but it's not, uh, it's not necessary. And then we can just load this into the project. So now in our project, I can select the basic wall. This is very important. And then go to edit type. So now go here to the structure, edit and go here to preview. If you are here in a floor plan view, all those elements are going to be grayed out. So what you have to do is to be here in a section. And then you can also decrease the height on 3.2 meters. So now we are going to add sweeps. Click here and then just add profiles. So what I'm going to do will be to add this family to as a profile. And then I'm going to add the distance from, from the, from the level, from the floor. So the first one is going to be on zero. So the second one is going to be on, let's say 500, then on one meter, one and a half. So here it comes. And this is why we have this top. And let's say that I now decrease the height on three meters, as well as to the curtain wall. You see how this look nice and correctly. And by the way, there is one very important thing. And that's that uh, because we have the wall as a panel, you will be able to add the, the ordinary doors or what's more important in this case, uh, what I'm going to show you is that we can create the wall opening. So I can now just make it like this. And here comes the wall opening, which you can place just because we have the ordinary wall as a curtain panel. And then you will be able to look at this. So very useful thing, like a very simple process. And I really hope that uh, this is going to really help you to level up your, your designs with, with, the, with the Revit. And by the way, one more time, if you are serious about learning Revit and if you would like to level up your Revit knowledge, we have a free Revit training with over four hours of materials and you can find the access link in the video description.